locked in to these conditions that degrade the environment and jeopardize the future of our children. Moving to the 21st century. The Industrial Revolution created a kind of entrainment which attuned people more to machines than to their inner human nature. We've had an approach in this country towards economic growth, which has really not been attuned to the fact that as monopolies grow, it strangles an economy. We need to open up this economy by having our Justice Department challenge monopolies in agriculture, in energy, in the media, in communications, and wherever it's damaging to the American economy. The corporatization of thought, today even the militarization of thought, separates us from our higher nature, really separates us from who we are. We have received a cautionary note, my friends, with the attack on Iraq, because that was about oil. Pure and simple. Now let's tell the truth about this. If Iraq had no oil, we wouldn't have attacked Iraq. And I contend that the kind of thinking which is resistant towards developing new energy technologies is old thinking. We have to realize that our misguided policies have put us on a path of destruction. Destruction of our integrity as a nation, destruction of other people, destruction of our planet, because war itself is a form of ecocide and the principles which animate this particular war is a corruption of the American heart. What's emerging is a new type of thinking that views sustainability as profitable, that understands that profits go up the smokestack and go out. Moving to the 21st century, we want to help create businesses which are dedicated to sustainability because that's where the money's going to be made. We have incredible inventive genius in this country, but how much of it goes to weapons production? I mean, think about it. The same genius which is currently dedicated to weapons production, to putting weapons in space, to creating more firepower, to creating more kill potential, what if instead we began to change the consciousness of this country towards real sustainability, sustaining human life, sustaining human health, sustaining communities, incentivizing renewable energies, providing the possibility of real investments in solar and hydrogen, in wind, in all of those technologies that we already know about, and in creating new energy technologies we don't even know about. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has had marvelous success in moving forward with creating the potential to move human destiny further and further out into the universe. How much so are we capable of moving human destiny along on this planet by dedicating our technologies towards new energy production? As the next president of the United States, I intend to lead this nation on a path towards sustainability, on a path towards peace, because those two principles are inseparable. Sustainability equals peace. And in this campaign, I'm creating for this country a discussion about the possibility of a new American narrative, about a new direction that we can take. We're not locked in to these conditions that degrade the environment and jeopardize the future of our children. We're not locked in. We have a chance to transform ourselves as a nation. sense of our responsibility to the earth, to the globe itself, and move forward 